Okay. And we're back. Uh, is there an identical circle next to it? Like, an, is there another circle of rocks next to this circle of rocks? Where are you? Where are you on the map right now? Like, what region are you even in? Because there's a lot of Korok puzzles with, like, circles of rocks. Like, a lot of them. but I shocked him to death, so it works out. Okay, so they want us to use this boat here to cross over there to get the Korok seed that this arrow, that this little Korok stump is pointing at. Eh. We could do that. But... Here's something else we could do instead. Ah, no, it didn't work. Crap. Stupid game didn't. Ah, no. Get back in the water. I want to show it off. I want to show it off. Um, what? Link, are you serious right now? He's cutting just above it, so I can't even demonstrate what I wanted. What the heck is wrong with you, Link? Will you work now? First of all. What? It's not hitting it. It's not hitting the boat. What? I don't think I've ever seen a situation like this where I can't hit something. There's a ring of rocks and a rock in the middle. Where's the Korok? I don't know which ring of rocks you're talking about. There are a lot of them. Okay, I wanted to show off something cool, but apparently the game didn't want to cooperate with me, so I suppose we'll have to save that for the next time I see one of these. Or I could just save and reload. You know what? That's a better idea, because now I'm upset that it didn't work. So now I'm determined to show it. Like, what region are you in? Like, if I don't know where you are in the map, I might not be able to do anything to help you. So let's get up here. Now here's what I think of your stupid raft game. I think we should send it over, this, over the shrine. Send it flying over there. Have it land upside down. That's what we should do. Eris Beach and to the right. Uh, Ross has no fork. It's just fake. Uh, I mean, it could be, but I doubt it. If it's such a specific formation, Eris Beach. So Lake. To the right. To the right, so over here. Um, 
I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a Korok seed over here or not. I'd have to go there. But I don't remember. Th oh, this. Wait, 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 wait. This one. This is what we're talking about right here, right? So there's these two circles right here. There's one circle here and one circle here. One of them will have a hole in it, and you need to fill the hole with a rock. You see what I'm talking about? I mean, I can only give you the orbital satellite view from where I'm at right now. But, uh, I assume that's what you're talking about. That's the only one that I know of for sure that's, like, right there. Oh, hey, look! The boat respawned. Why'd the boat respawn? That's weird. Oh well. Oh. oh. It started to freeze and then it didn't go up. What the heck? Let's send it to space! Oh, it's, I hit the water. It didn't go very high, huh? If you time that just right, bullet time will send that, like, to space. Like, I, I showed you one earlier that flipped over this whole shrine. So, like, you can totally send these really high in the air with bullet time. Hey, look, a Korok leaf that we're not going to use. Those crabs looked like they were just talking to each other. Let's collect them. Let's suck them into the void of Link's pockets. Link has very deep pockets, because he can store so much stuff in there. Link's pockets are like an alternate dimension. Like, each one of these is like an alternate dimension, and like, apparently turning Korok seeds into Hetsu gets you more inventory space, so it's like adding dimensions where Link stores things. Like, how, how else would he store 13 fish? And, like, a bunch of different types of crabs and fairies, you know? He's got all that in there. It's crazy. Anyway, let's go kill a major uh, major test of strength guardian. So, a guardian mark four? Is it a guardian mark four? Let's take a picture and find out. Oh, and this is a good one, too. All weapons. Yeah, it's a Guardian Mark IV. There we go. Spin around it like so. Shock arrow. No spinning for you, though. Only spinning for Link. Only Link is allowed to spin. Huh. 
Yeah, why not? I would dodge your attacks if I felt it was necessary to dodge them. But I don't think it is. I don't think it is. See what I'm talking about? Like, these guardians are so easy. All you have to do is just, like, spin to win all around them. They die so easily, so quickly. They're not worth being afraid of. Hey, where's my, uh, spear? Oh, no. Did my spear clip out of bounds? Oh, no. I think it did. The guardian spear plus plus. No. Oh, well. Well, we've got some really good guardian. Oh, no, there it is. It just flew all the way over here. Um. Jeez, what do I drop for this? I have been using this sword a bit, a bunch. So it's probably almost out of durability. Yeah, it might be time to say goodbye to the flame sword here. It's been nice, but this guardian spear is really good, though. However, I have so many guardian weapons, I think I'm actually just going to pull out one of these guardian sword plus pluses and use it. I think it's definitely time. What do we got in here? Another weapon for me to throw away? Oh no, that's right, climbing gear. This is one of the shrines that gives you the climbing gear. Despite the fact that we definitely did not have to climb anything to get here. Or maybe that's a good thing. Either way, I'll take it. And that's another four spirit orbs we can turn into stamina. As soon as we get to Lurin Village, actually. Alright, so, we have a bunch of stuff to do along here, and then hopefully we'll get a Blood Moon at some point in the near future. Since I've killed so much stuff, done so many things, you would think a Blood Moon would come. Then I can finally get the Blood Moon Shrine out of the way, and never have to worry about it again. Okay, so first things first. When jumping off this ledge for the first time, always head this way. There is absolutely nothing along that entire stretch of beach right there. Nothing. The only stuff that's worth anything is right here on the tip. There's a Korok seed and a picture we need to take for a shrine quest, and that is the only thing useful on this entire stretch of beach. Korok seed. There's your rock back. Jora's mask. And... Photograph. And then this whole beach right here has, like, nothing on it. Like, the whole thing. It's just empty. So, back up here we go. Believe me, I've looked. I specifically remember how frustrated I was when I found out there was absolutely nothing in that entire stretch of beach. All right. There is, however, stuff 
among those rocks right there, I believe, and also right over here. So if you're looking to steal some bird eggs, this is a good place to do it. Also, well, let's not use a guardian weapon on this. Or maybe we should. Never mind. We don't have anything better to do with it. Okay. Get some right here. There's a Korok seed on the other side of this cliff. We'll be sure to grab that after a bit. But first, let's make our way down here. We have a picture to get. Uh, which tower? Go ahead and grab this picture right here. And then before we talk to that guy, we have one more picture to grab. I'd answer your question if I knew which tower you're talking about. We have a cave to raid, a Korok seed to get, a Talus to beat. At least I think. A talus to beat. Depends on if it's things on its back or not. I don't know, I might kill it anyway. Then one last picture to take, and then we have a shrine. Uh, any? Well, it depends on what tower. Like, some towers have a lot you can see, and then others have less. Like, there's no specific answer that covers all the towers. Okay, so whenever you see a bunch of rocks clumped up together in a cave, here's a great way to deal with them. Yeah, I hear you. I'm getting pretty hungry myself, but I usually go throughout, I just go for the whole stream without eating anything. Normally is how I do it. But that's just me. Oh yeah, that's right. Here's something else we can do. Let's go ahead and just like put this right here. And put this right here. And climb up here. And detonate the bombs. And behold, there will be gemstones everywhere, especially topazes. Wow. Man, I'm gonna have the all my topaz requirements met pretty soon here. But there's still one little guy on the ceiling we have to get. And it gave me a flint. Wow. That's all it gave me? That's impressive. That's actually impressive that that's all it gave me. Anyway, since you're curious, next time I, uh... Well, you're probably not back yet, but... Maybe next, next time I'm at a tower, I guess I'll check to see how many shrines I can see. Because I can imagine if you're at the Farron Tower, the answer's probably not many. But like, Central Tower you can see a few, there's a few...
There's a few you can see from, uh, actually there should be a bunch you can see from Gerudo Tower, um, or Wasteland Tower, I mean. Ridgeland Tower, you can probably see a bunch. Oh no, it's one of these guys. Okay, so normally I don't like to fight these partic these taluses, but I'm going to make an exception for this one. Because I want some practice with it. This is going to be painful if the only way to damage it is like this. I'll take that topaz, though. Ow. Wow. That was a good sweep. Ugh. I need to be more careful than I'm being. This stupid talus has taken far more health out of me than it should have already. If it gives me any more trouble, I might just reset. What is that camera? Aw, oh, come on. These taluses just are not fair or fun. They really aren't. They always turn around so I can't hit them again. There we go. Jeez. Just die already. He gets up too quickly. There we go. Okay, that's another one. Oh, and then of course, he instantly rotates. Uh, no. No, come here. Fine, I'll climb up on top of you. There, jeez. The reason why I didn't just do that from the start is because doing that from the start is more difficult than it seems like standing on the back of that rock there is actually that's a pretty small area to stand it's incredibly easy to just fall off so i don't really enjoy taluses with that have their rocks on the back unless i have a ton of bomb arrows and a really powerful bow to spam it with i had a stronger bow but not a ton of bomb arrows i probably could have killed that easier than i did But I didn't want to burn up my Savage Lionel bow just yet. Okay, so somewhere over here by those boxes, I think. It's the last photograph we need to take. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Now we can talk to the dude and open up another shrine. I don't believe it's actually a blessing shrine. I think it's actually a shrine we have to work for, which means it might be a cheese shrine. I forget which one this is. But we'll see. First, let's talk to this guy. Ah. 
So while we're talking to him, how's your playthrough going, Time Tree? Like, have you been uh, catching up on Korok seeds right now? Is that what you're trying to do? Also, Avalon, if you're still in here, what you been up to? I mean, I know you're probably still on your uh, PS4 Twitch. So that's probably not... Not encouraging you to be chatty. I can imagine. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. Hey, if you need... Letting your controller charge? Ah. Uh, that's another reason why you wouldn't be very chatty. It's like... PS4, Twitch, and also my controller is charging. Fair enough, Avalon. Fair enough. So you're just going to look up where a shrine is, eh? Well, like if you need any help finding shrines in like a certain area, I can always tell you where all the shrines in a certain area are. Like, did you get the one behind the stable in Farron? Because I know that one hid itself from me for a while. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of shrines hidden in uh, Hebra. I know. Let's see. Okay, did you get the one up here? The one that's like... Up here on top of the... The mountain right here? This one's a pain in the butt to get. It's where you have to hold that snowball, like, right here, and the shadow has to line up just right on the thing. This one's a pain. Did you get this one? Also, the one near Farron Grasslands. There's a whole bunch of those. Well, there's one. There's one right out there. There's, like, another one over here by the stable, of course. There's one right here. But there's one right up here on top of the mountain. Did you get this one? Yeah, you need to get this one. This one's important. It's such a good vantage point. Like, to get down to this one, to this one... To the one that's way over here in the desert. Like, there's a bunch of shrines that this one's... This one's super important to get. Also, there's a Korok seed up there next to it. You know. Priorities. Um... Alright, so we have this shrine now. Let's go inside and find out what's in it. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, no, nope, we're cheesing this. Um, I mean, I guess I don't have to, but it's, yeah. 
it's it amounts to waiting on platforms so i'm kind of encouraged to, to just go ahead and uh, move on from that one Oh, you got the Korok seed, but you didn't get the shrine up there? Okay, now somewhere on this side, I believe there's a Korok seed, speaking of which... Oh yeah, here it is. It's literally just right here. Just this one little ledge with a rock on it. Hi, Korok seed. That's 101 so far that I have saved up. Man, I'm going to have so many inventory expansions when I get to Hetsu again. Speaking of which, maybe I should get to the Korok Forest today. Perhaps. I mean, either today or tomorrow, I need to get to the Korok Forest. That's kind of a big deal. Um... Yep, and now let's make it to Lurin, I guess. Yep, time to head to Lurin. Both snow mountain doors, okay. Well, I'm glad I could help you with at least one. Anyway, now, here's... There are some super tricky Korok seeds here in Lurin Village. Like, really tricky. Like, we have to get a rock up here. On this boathouse here. We have to somehow get it up there. Like, we can just, like, pick this up and then, like, launch it up there. But getting the power and trajectory right is... Not very easy. But I'm gonna try it once. Three... Think it's three? Nope, three is not enough. Three is not enough to get that up there. I don't want to burn up all my durability on this. I am definitely close enough to the rock, stupid game. Four. Four is not enough. Oh my gosh, I need five. I guess. Five hits. Still not enough. Oh my gosh. I like Lurin Village. Lurin Village has some nice some nice music. It's an example of this game's excellent soundtrack. On the rare on the rare occasion that it's heard. There we go. Well, it got up there and then it bounced off. See what I'm talking about? How do you get a rock up here? 
This Korok Seed is very tricky to get. As such, I'm not really a big fan of it, so I think I'm going to skip this one, yeah. No need to waste durability on it. Like, you have to get just the right amount of power so it doesn't fly away. And if you're thinking, just throw it up there, well... Yeah, that doesn't work. So... Anyway... Lurin Village is a really nice place. First of all, we'll cash in our spirit orbs. Stamina, as usual. Until we have max stamina, we're not getting any hearts. Speaking of which, we're almost to max stamina. Crabs just kind of chilling here on the beach. You can just pick them up and just take them with us. Korok seeds abound in certain places like up here. Now this is an easier one to get, so we'll just go ahead and grab this one. Oh, whoa, I mean, if Link will grab onto the tree, holy cow, get on the tree. It's a yellow flower growing on a tree. It usually means it's a parasite that's bad for the tree. There are plants that flower by growing on other trees and parasiting off of them. They exist. It usually spells death for the tree. Oh, where'd it go? Uh-oh. What? Oh, it's down there. That's right. There's another easy Korok seed. Not too hard at all. This is uh, the first shop that we've encountered so far. It's one of the two shops in the game that sells shock arrows in bundles of ten. So we can just buy some shock arrows from here. Do I need any? Not really, though. Kinda already have all the shock arrows I need. Don't know why I'm swimming. I should've used Revali Scale to just cross this. Also, Link apparently cannot get up onto this. There we go. Now, here's the Korok seed I bet you missed. Uh, if I can find it again. It's a little obscure. Here it is. Have a look at that. I guarantee you, you missed that apple in the middle of all these palm groves here. This is a super... This is another one of those unique Korok seeds. Like, see that apple in the middle of all the palm fruit? Guess what? If I can get it to fall down. Korok seed. And it is an apple, yeah, like... This is Lurin Village. It's a super unique Korok seed, because that's never found again. That particular Korok seed is extremely unique. And it's here in a Lurin... Lurlin Village, excuse me. Lurlin. I always called it uh, Lurin, but whatever.
Oh, and now, of course. Of course it would be raining. Oh. Here's Dog Friend. Yes. This is one of the two most important dogs in the entire game. If we can, once we get him to come out. This dog right here will lead us to a star fragment. He is a very important doggo. But we have to wait for the stupid rain to pass, of course. Naturally. We couldn't get a rain-free day, that's impossible. This game hates the player sometimes. We're just gonna go up here to the shrine in the meantime. No sense in wasting time while we wait for uh, the rain to pass. Hmm. This, oh, a weighty decision. Oh, no. I think I remember this one. Yeah, is this one, this one's long, though. Do I cheese this one? Uh, no, let's just do it. So this shrine is very lengthy, and so it's not really good for cheesing, because it's not about height. The infinite jump technique gives us lots and lots of, uh... Lots of height, but not very much horizontal motion, so... Lots of vertical, not much horizontal. So that sort of leaves us in the position of, uh... Stupid thing. Stay still. Ah. Ah, I was trying to whack it, but I guess not. Fine, I'll just kill you if you really want to die that badly. I guess I need to use up weapons anyway and kill more stuff. Fair point. Little guardian with your guardian sword. Fair enough. That's the wrong one. Come here. Let's open up the gate. Bring this treasure chest with us as well. royal broadsword that we can't take with us yet but that's okay I'm sure we'll break this guardian sword plus plus soon and then we can take it with us all right Take this and move it a little bit closer where I can grab it easily. Oh, damaged me. What? That's dumb. Open up. Okay. Grab this. 
Put it over there. Stand on that. Grab this, put it right here. Oh, I kind of thought, I thought there was another guardian in here we could finish wrecking our guardian sword plus plus on, but I guess there isn't. Oh, it is badly damaged though. Okay, so we can just throw it away. That's fine. We'll take a royal broadsword in its place. No problem. Excellent. All right, so we got a couple of Korok seeds in here, and we got shrine now we just need the rain to go away and we can get a star fragment from our doggy friend over here there are a bunch of side quests to be done if you're interested Let's stay here. Fluffy bed. Until... Uh, noon, I guess. I mean, it's morning, but... This will get us past the rain. There we go. Now we head over here. And we feed the dog apples. Apples are good for dogs, right? I'm pretty sure they are. Breath of the Wild says they are, so it must be true. Dogs will definitely eat apples like this in real life. Totally. So we feed him a couple apples, four it looks like, and then he will lead us over here. This treasure box will not appear unless you have befriended the dog. Good dog. Good doggy. You will be forever immortalized in the Hyrule Compendium. Unfortunately, we can't pet the dog. It's funny how Nintendo thought in Twilight Princess to let us pick up cats and dogs, but we can't pet the dog in Breath of the Wild. Like, I don't know about you guys, but that's automatically minus, <laughs> minus a point in my book. Can't pet the doggo. All right. Uh, 
All right, well, that was fun hanging out and chill Lurin for a while and this whole trek, but we still haven't gotten a Blood Moon yet, and I'm kind of wondering why not. We've beaten so much stuff, like, it surely has to be coming up soon. We've cleared out almost an entire portion of the map. Half of Farron is clear. I guess I'll just go back and get some of that stuff I wanted to get now. So earlier... There's a small area that I forgot to visit. We should be able to go to now and just grab some Korok seeds while we're there, as well as kill a Hinox. Oh yeah, and mine some minerals while we're at it. Actually, that was a pretty decent haul. Standing right here, we can see a pretty easy puzzle. Do have to be a little bit quick, though. Aw, what? Two. Mm -hmm. I feel like the range on these bows is, like, sometimes way too short. Like, even with them not being. An afterworld for Breath of the Wild, too? Like,. I'm not sure what you mean by an afterworld. You mean like after the end of the game or something? Like after you beat Breath of the Wild 2, maybe you get like there's stuff to do after afterwards or something? I mean, they don't technically have an after... If that's what you mean, then they don't technically have an afterworld here in this game either. Yeah, after you beat the final boss, well, this game just resets you. And pretends like you didn't beat the final boss, so, like... This game didn't have it, so I don't think... I don't think, um, I don't think Breath of the Wild 2 will have it. That would definitely be sticking true to form if that's how they did it. Brilliant. That's a brilliant throw, Link. 10 out of 10. Come on. Oh, real nice. Oh my gosh, you can totally sink in that. That's crazy. You know what I really wish Cryonis would do? Instead of creating ice blocks, I wish Cryonis would actually just create ice platforms. You know, like they did in Majora's Mask with ice arrows. Kinda wish they would just do that instead. But we can also do this. 
So, fine, I guess. Anyway, this is... This Korok Seed Triangle here is actually pretty well camouflaged into the rocks. So it's easy to miss. No, no, no. Uh... Oh, well. That's fine. Okay. Now for another Hinox. Let's get some better arrows on there, though. Gotcha. Um, uh, well, I mean, I guess maybe we can use this bow after all, turns out. Oh, uh, I mean, I kind of want to go fight some more Lynels, actually. Also, we can totally just pick up this royal bow here, too. Assuming there are any more Lynels to fight. All right. So, that cleans up this area. Where to next, I wonder? It's getting late, so soon enough we'll be able to see if... if we're going to get... If we're going to get a blood moon. I forget if there's anything actually here. Is there anything here in this part of the... No, I don't see anything obvious anyway. All right, well... Enough messing around here. I feel like there's probably a Korok seed around here somewhere that I'm forgetting. Maybe on top of the bridge there. I don't know. We don't have to get every single Koroxy, just some of them. So, let's go back over here. There's a shrine over over there. There's a minor test of strength we can also do. And some more map locations. There's actually a map location that's really tricky to get that counts towards 100%. But, let's have a little ad break first. We're clearing out sections of this map. But we still have not gotten a Blood Moon yet. See you guys in just a minute. All right. Now, lots of stuff off in this direction. Again, I can't see where I'm going because of the stupid rain. Steal that gemstone, though. Bye, suckers! So, over here on this little pillar that you probably can't see too well because of the rain, this pillar right here 
has a Korok seed on it. And there's a shrine pretty much right next to it as well. Here's your rock back. Blood moon yet? Game? Can't tell. So over here. Got ourselves another shrine. This is a minor test of strength shrine. So we'll go ahead and complete it now. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just do it now. Should be done in like no time. That this is a minor test of strength shrine? You can't see or understand what I say in chat? What? I was responding to your comments about Koroks. I hope we get more variety in the Korok puzzles and that they don't have 900. 900 Korok seeds is silly. Hey, look at that, done already. And we don't need that. We don't need that at all. Boomerangs are interesting weapons because they come back to us. But there are better boomerang weapons in the game. Well, I'm just saying 900 Korok seeds is a lot. Pretty much no matter what. 900 is no joke. Okay, game, so how about that blood moon? We could rescue those people in trouble, or we could completely ignore them. Either way, there's a Korok seed right here that requires our attention. Right next to this shrine. Metal ball goes into hole. Just like back on the Great Plateau. Make sure you don't miss this one since it's right here. So here's another one. Right over here, we're about to get a map location. This is very important. Like, this is one of the easiest map locations to miss, Time Tree. So, like, be sure you get this one. Just by walking over here, we should get it any second. Also, it looks like we're not having a blood moon yet. Ah.
Otherwise, we would have gotten it already. But over here, somewhere, maybe it's on the other side of the lake there, yeah. First of all, there's this bridge. Where we can get a ton of fireflies. We're right over here. Yeah, don't count every map location. Or at least give us a way to know where map locations are. Like right here? Zonai Ruins. You have to go right up to these gates right here. The Zonai Ruins. Just have a complete map? Uh, no, I mean, I like the idea of map locations, but maybe if they were highlighted for us somehow. Like, you know how, like, you see how, like, the different, um, like, the, the different towers that unlock map, lo that unlock the map are kind of, like, outlined here, like, like, there's, like, there'd be a missing outline right here. So have the tower give us the full, ge you know, geographical information, but have, like, the map divided with, like, lines that tell us, like, this ridge right here would have its own outline, you know, and then, like, right next to it, the fairy fountain would have an outline or something right here to kind of give us an idea of where the different locations on the map are, you know, that we have to visit. You know, visit this location, visit that location, if you want to get 100%. Oh, yeah! This Korok Seed. Okay. This Korok Seed is... special. If you try to move this one... If you try to move this bolt, this rock right here, it's chained to this one, so it will pull this one out of place. So here's what you do to fix that. <laughs> this puzzle's a pain in the butt if you don't do that. something underneath this bridge and I want it hey money I'll take that hi Cass how are you this lovely night man fireflies everywhere So Cass is standing here because he wants to give us the shrine cre the shrine the shrine quest ugh can't talk uh for this right here like basically like the river makes the shape of like a, a serpent and then it uh, leads into like these dragon ruins right here and then you find the spring of courage after venturing through the forest right I mean or we could just drop down on the Spring of Courage from behind it. Because of the Twin Peaks, or the Dueling Peaks. So, uh, yeah. We're about to kind of take the wind out of this shrine quest, but... Yes, hi there, Cass. You apparently recognize the Sheikah Slate and its importance. Hey, we're probably going to meet... Like, in Age of Calamity, we'll probably meet whoever Cass's teacher was. I'll betcha. Mm. Sure. Oh. Let's hear a tune. That's a pretty short song. 
There's only two verses. Who is this person? I'm curious where this person thinks they're going. What the heck? Is she actually going to go into the ruins there? No, hold on. No, she's on the path right here. She's not actually going to turn into here. She's going on the path to, uh, to the stable. That's where she's headed. Okay. It's like, that doesn't make sense. Speaking of stables... There's a stable over here for us to get. But before we get that stable, let's go ahead and grab a horse. So, one of my other favorite horses to catch is uh, Ganondorf's horse. Do you have Ganondorf's horse already? Do you have the giant horse? Let's go ahead and grab that while we're at it. Yeah, stables are map locations, so don't miss them. <laughs> they are important. Oh, can I make it work? No, I mean, I don't really have anything I want to waste on it, though. That's the problem. You let it run off? It was super slow? Yeah, okay, but it does have infinite stamina, though. You did get the royal horse, though. Good. But you see, like, right here in the herd where it spawns? Like, these are the best horses in the game right here. Like, all these horses right here are actually super, super good. Like, stat-wise, they're crazy good. I actually saw a YouTube video on that a little bit ago. These horses are crazy. They have, like, almost maxed out stats. They're as good or better than Epona. Or even the royal horse. It's actually kind of nuts. Oh, come on. How? Explain to me how, game. Hey, Bradenator. I'm glad to see you could return. What? How? How is it detecting me? Like, it should not be able to detect me right now. It should have zero idea that I am here. It's trying to gallop away, but there's nowhere else to go. I mean, I guess unless it really wants to go up high on the mountains there. Stop trying to face me. Let me sneak up on you. Stupid horse. Doesn't usually give me this much trouble.
I'm about to rip all these Gale on it. Gotcha. I have more stamina than you do, horse. And I can pause time to eat it, too. So don't even bother. Mmm, candy, yep. Okay, so yeah, the horse is slow, but it's also got, like... It's also got infinite dash, though. Also, we can totally dash past this Lionel. If we use Majora's Mask, the Lionel will not know what the heck to think of us. It'll be like, what the heck? Majora's Mask? Yeah, it's the giant horse. Yeah, see, it's not fat. It's just large. Like, it's actually pretty well built. It's just giant. It's not fat. Calm down there, time tree. Calm down. It's just a joke. Right over here is where we can get the infinite jump glitch to go, to go off if we want. But we're not quite ready for that. Oh, calm down you two now. Calm down. It's not worth fighting over. So this guy actually sends us on a side quest to find the giant horse. But we already found it. More importantly, does this not look a lot like Ganondorf's horse? Well, assuming you guys know Ocarina. I'm assuming you guys know Ocarina of Time. Which, I don't know for sure. But, Ganondorf's horse is black with orange, just like this, in Ocarina. So I prefer to just call it Ganondorf's horse. Oh, 
Let it be, Raidenator, just let it be. <laughs> Calm down, time time tree. Be fighting, guys. Let's go ahead and get our horse registered here. Slow as it is, I still like the infinite stamina thing, so I always like to get this horse. What shall we call it? There you go. What do we call it? Any suggestions? <laughs> Ganoon. Okay. Time tree. Any suggestions for the horse name? I will wait a few seconds. Just in case your stream is behind. Orangey? Orange? I'm not I'm not sure I understand. I think I'm gonna go with Braidenators. His sounds funnier. Canoon it is. Um board it. Ah. Gan orange. I wish you had put that in the chat sooner. Is your stream behind, Time Tree? Um. But yeah, they called it Gan Orange. If you'd put it in sooner, sorry. Let's go ahead and sell some gemstones now. We have so many gemstones right now. Oh my gosh. How much money are we going to make? Again, I'm going to keep my topazes because I actually want a bunch of topazes for later. We're going to be upgrading a specific piece of armor with it. But for now, we don't need any sapphires or rubies. Wow! Wow! And especially diamonds. So that's... 10,000 we have now. Ten thousand rupees. What could we do with that? 
Actually, I know exactly what we could do with that. We could open the last fairy fountain with it. So, when we get to the last fairy fountain, we'll have all we need. Speaking of fairy fountains, there's one, actually... Well, it's not a fairy fountain. There's the horse, the horse god shrine that we can go visit. Right on the other side of this mountain here. Let's go ahead and grab the shrine next to the stable, and let's see what's inside it. Then after that, we need to get to the horse god shrine. Which one is this one again? Oh yeah, metal doors. Metal doors open the way. There's enemies to fight in here. Come at us. Come at me, if you dare. Bye bye. Ha ha. Gotcha. be able to eliminate this guy pretty easily, although I just realized I'm still in my stealth armor. No reason for that. Somehow that counts as a dodge, even though it's very much not a dodge. Huh. Uh... We've got a lot of spears. Should probably use them up. Oh. Should also probably attempt to dodge. There we go. Let's get rid of that. I think we can actually make that jump. Maybe. Be time it would have to be timed really, really carefully, though. Oh, yeah. We, have we actually have to do this anyway. I forgot. This shrine's not long enough to bother cheesing. And we can also just do this. We already got that horse. So you can actually just shove everything off of here. not have to actually climb up there or anything. So that is what we will do. Get the treasure chest this way. And we named it, uh, we ended up naming it Rukia. Uh, Avalon provided that name. We get an opal from that. And we'll grab this. A royal bow. That's okay. Oh, wait. About to say. Oh, not that one. Drop that one. Give me this one. Yeah, you were too late for that one. 
Um. I'll see you around. I'll see you around, man. So make sure you don't forget this treasure when you're going through this uh, shrine right here. This treasure is extremely well hidden. Three hundred rupees. Now we're at eleven thousand. This block looks like any other block, but it's magnetic for some reason. See you around, Bradenator. You have a nice night. Um, I was actually planning, like Time Tree, if you want to name a horse, I was actually planning on getting one more. Like, I was actually planning on catching one more horse. If you're interested. Try color of new horse. Hey. I can do that. Because I want something I can put the ancient, uh, the ancient horse armor on when we get it. I would prefer that horse to have really, really, really good stats, like maxed out stamina. Would be nice to have. Um, let's, hmm, in what order should I do this? I mean, I guess I can just do it like that, right? Just go down and get another one. Uh, I do want to kill those Lynels, too, is the other thing. Yeah. Let's do it that way. Let's go kill us some Lynels and get a new horse. Let's do it. But first an ad break. It'll be the last ad break for the stream. Um, can I maybe successfully get this to launch? Oh, I, uh, no, I still don't have anything I want to break on it, though. I don't know. I just want to do it, though. Oh, nope. Stupid Link attacked the wrong direction. I definitely didn't tell him to do that, but... Because I was definitely holding up. But Link cannot change direction. After beginning an attack. That would be too much to ask from Nintendo. Oh well. It's fine. Okay, so right here, let's get us another horse, one more, and then we will not need to get any more horses. Can't see sun. Putting everything out. Ugh. Uh, now 
the question is, will this horse have the stats I want, though? So that's why I saved beforehand. Gotta make sure we're getting a good one. Aha! Oh, it's got five. It's got five star stamina. Might be worth having. Run over that guy. Huh, it doesn't seem very fast though. What horse have I got here, I wonder? I wish you could see all of a horse's stats beforehand. Because now I'm not sure about this horse, because he seems kind of slow. Even though he's got five things of stamina. I'm now starting to think maybe I shouldn't fight these Lynels yet. Because I don't know how much speed this horse has, and I'm not convinced yet. Also, don't run into a wall, you dumb horse. Because if it's like max HP... If it's max HP, I don't really want max HP. What the? Threw me off. Oh, yeah, because I tapped it too much. Yeah. Like, imagine being able to tell what kind of horse you have right away. That'd be amazing. Hi there, Lionel. Hi there, Lionel. Instead, it's a really long way to the stable. Go down slowly then? Okay. Probably make that jump, but all right. No, there's no... There's definitely nothing that does that. Only way to find out what your horse's stats are... Oh, no. Ah, uh, well... Calm down. S silly horse, what the heck? Only way to find out what a horse's stats are is to take it to a stable. Also, I wouldn't mind having a blue horse. Of course, I couldn't see what color this horse was. Man, we're gonna have max bond with this horse by the time we get to the stable. For Breath of the Wild 2? Yeah. That sounds like a good idea to me. This horse's speed stat is any lower than three. We ain't keeping it. <laughs> or, honestly, even if it's three, yeah. I think if, it needs to be at least a four in speed. But I don't think that's what we're getting here. I could be wrong. That's what I have the save file for. Wouldn't it be cool if they added monster horse stables? For like stall horses and stuff? 
or bears and stuff you can ride. No, this is the one with max strength and stamina. Dang it. I should have known it was too slow. Dang it. I, I should have known. I should have been able to tell the speed right away. It was too slow. Give me better horse. But I couldn't see which horse I was grabbing anyway. Yeah, I know you can. Yeah, you can ride stall horses. It's fun. Yeah, I just can't register them. It's unfortunate, but. About you. Oh, you got converted really easily. Kind of makes me worried. Uh, this horse seems to be faster, but it doesn't have max stamina. Oh, I wish that sun was at not that angle. That might be cool. Monster stables underground. <laughs> oh, no, this one only has three, so that's no good. Keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Only two? Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it's these spotted horses, that's why. That's what's up. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more shot here. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Go for that one in the front. Unless, no, that's the same one I just caught, isn't it? Oh, there's a blue one, I think. I want it. Okay. So far, this is good because it's hard to capture. If it were a bad horse, it would not be this difficult. What do you have? Oh, you've got five. And you look like you're faster than, uh... You look like you're faster than the other one. Yeah, this does seem faster already. Should be good. This should do nicely. But, there's the Lionel up ahead. I want this blue horse. I want it. Because it's blue, and its stats are reasonable. So, I'm going to feed it and try to get it to be loyal to me as much as possible. If it will eat... Come on. Will they not take food from me until after I've until after I own them? Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Just feed it lots of apples. That will definitely, definitely... That's, this is definitely how you earn a horse's loyalty right here. Just feed it lots of apples. That'll always work just fine. So I want to kill this Lionel right here. But I don't want my horse to be in danger. What thing? What are you talking about? You stay right there, horse. Now here's the horse I wish we could have. Here's the horse that I wish we could have. We have some good guardian spears and stuff. Should probably use some of them. Huh. Yeah, we have solid guardian weapons. Let's go ahead and use them. No sense in not using them. Oh, what? It's not stunned. What the heck? Why wasn't he stunned by that? He should have been. Come on. Now what? Uh, let's use some of our elemental spears. Why not? Flame spear. The feeding your horse feature makes it more bondable. Yeah. They removed that from Breath of the Wild 2. Eh. Not a huge loss. Huh. We're gonna have lots of Thunder Spears. Let's use this. Oh. Any day now. There we go. Need a flurry rush on this guy. I really hate Spear Lionels. They suck. Whoa. What the 
always try to run away. Come on. Gotta be running out of HP soon. There we go, I stunned him that time. My horse better still be there, yeah, okay. Nice. Excellent. Now we'll continue on our way and fight the next Lionel. Now the real question is, Blood Moon tonight or no? That's what I really want to know. Also, I need to make sure Majora's Mask is on or I won't be able to get the drop on this guy. Oh, of course, naturally, the moon's not out. Although, you know what? While I'm right here, though... can get all of these. Oh, of course. Of course there is. This is why I wanted to get the Blood Moon Shrine right now. We're about to have a Blood Moon right now. You can hear the music playing. And the stuff going. I captured this horse that I wanted so bad. Because it's blue. With all the right stats and everything. And you know what the game does? Time for a Blood Moon. Which means I have to abandon it. And go all the way over here. Do this stupid shrine and then come back and do this again. So. So wrong. Okay. But you know what? This is why I wanted to get it out of the way now. Ah. <sighs> All right. We finally got it. Which means next time is dragon farming. All right. So remove everything. Even though I think we should be allowed to keep Majora's Mask. We have to strip down. And there's our shrine. And just to add insult to injury, it's not even a blessing shrine. We have to fight for it. know what Let's do this
finally got that. The blood moon rises once again. And of course, it would appear now, before I can register that horse I captured. Of course it would. So upsetting. So now I have to go get that horse again. No, we don't have to fight the Guardian Bear. I mean, actually, how could we fight it without weapons? This modest test of strength. There will be nothing modest about my response to it. You made me abandon a horse I wanted to keep. I can only hope it's still there with the same stats. Destroy. Destroy. Exterminate. Stupid Dalek. Exterminate. Have you ever noticed how the Guardians look like, look like Daleks from Doctor Who? Like the little Guardian Scouts? They seriously look like Daleks. It would just without the little extended eye. Ah, we already have a shield like this. We're good. Hey, a frost blade. I'll take that. That's a nice weapon. And with plus attack, too. Okay, well now I have to go back and get that horse, but at least the Blood Moon Shrine is gone. It's finally out of the way. Thank goodness. And we even have four more spirit orbs. So now I'm going to go back and get that horse. We're done fighting Lionels, at least for the moment. Although I might kill that last one on the way back. No, no, forget it. I just want my horse. And then we'll kill that one, that other one, plenty of times later. So now our travel medallion is freed up again. That's nice. So now I can put that travel medallion wherever I please. But first... It's actually not that bad to use up Rivali's Gale right now. Oh, you finally got the Snowball Shrine? Yeah, it sucks having to wait around for the time to be just the right time of day it's like 4 p.m or 3 or 4 p.m or something like that it's really dumb having to wait for that but once you have that shrine that's like the ultimate place to drop down from oh there it is there they are and it looks like it's probably down there That's the best place to drop down from for that uh, for that region.
Yeah, you also have to make the snowball the right size. That is true. That is true. That's a really... That's a really painful shrine to have to get. <sighs> One I'm not looking forward to. Okay, well at least I know what horse I'm looking for. I'm looking for the pure blue horse. And it should be the one I want. There's a different horse here though. It's one with black with a black mane. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Calm down. Uh oh. Oh no, it's yeah. Yep. Yeah, here we go. This horse should do. This time, I ain't stopping for Lionel's. Their equipment got upgraded, though. Oh, that's a shame. Now I almost want to do it. That's a savage Lionel Spear he's got there. Not a mighty Lionel Spear. Or er, Spear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, also this stuff that I was planning to do. Let's not forget all of that. Let's go ahead and uh, clean all this up. For example. Korok seed. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to get your rock back. Enjoy having your rock back. Grudo scimitar. It's a useless weapon, but... I mean, why not, really? Rudo Spear! Meh. We'll drop this for it. Still have to walk to the shrine location? What? If I don't have it so it's not completely cheating? What? Cheating? wouldn't say it's cheating anyway. Hey, it's an upgraded club. Ah, oh, man, I want it. Well, we ain't got time for that. Not tonight. Just gonna get my horse into the stable. I'm gonna go ahead and say it in advance. If you have a name suggestion, put it out now. Yeah. Oh. 
Now you suggested, what was it, try and then the color of the horse? For the next horse I get? Was that correct? Or did you want to change your suggestion? Try blue? Okay, that's what I thought you'd say. Just double checking. Don't you dare, horse. Stop. Stop messing around on a tight, narrow bridge. Swear if you fall off. I'm not gonna be a happy person. Rivali's Gale is now ready. All right, well that's what we'll call it. As soon as, as soon as I can get up to the stable. Ravali's Gale is ready, that's excellent. For next stream, we'll have a full stock of it. Take that corner too tight. Try blue. Okay. What? It has the same stats as the other one? I thought it was fa- Well, maybe the one I had was faster. Ah. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Maybe I'll try again later. Since those are the best horses in the game, maybe I'll just catch them all. I don't know. Again, I really wish we could just see the stats before we make the long trek to a stable. That'd be really nice. All right, well, try blue it is. Are you happy? You got to name a horse. We will board it for now. And now with that done, let's see. Next up, I believe we'll probably grab the... The Horse God Shrine. And then it's on to dragon farming next time, finally. We can do the dragon farming as well as clean out Farron. Dragon farming is a very important thing to do. In fact, oh, should I demonstrate it tonight and then just um, maybe do a bunch off stream? No. Eh, uh, kind of. Yeah, let me see if I can go set it up real quick, and then I'll do a bunch off stream. Let me go ahead and show off what dragon farming is. And then I'll do it off stream so that it's not, like, super boring or anything next time. Because dragon farming takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes, but it generates so many rupees, and you have tons of dragon parts. It's very, very important to do. But I don't want to bore everyone, so I'll do the farming itself off stream. And in the short term, I 
I will show off how it's done. So first we have to make our way to Farron, to a very specific part of Farron. Also, you can totally reset your hero's path. Just reset your file. Ride my guardian friend all the way up there. If I could. I know. I'm messing with you. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in here real quick. Grab these Endura Shrooms and a Flint that I forgot to grab last time. So right up through here, this is where we came before to get a scale from Farash. And this is where we shall return again. To farm everything we need from him. We can also farm these electric keys pretty pretty good too. All right. So here we have returned. Uh let's go ahead and use the flame spear for this. Here we have returned to Farron. Right outside of the uh Real uh, spring. We're going to pull out our sniper bow that we got way at the beginning of this episode. Or this uh, stream. And then we're going to go ahead and start a fire. You don't need a flame weapon for this. If you have flint, you can also do that. But having a flame weapon makes this so much easier because then you won't run out of flint or anything. We're going to point ourselves up a little bit. We're going to sit until morning. And then the dragon should spawn right in front of us. Should hear that roaring, thundering sound. And there we go. Wait until it hits until it uh, hits the ground. Camp till morning. Aim and fire. Oh, whoops. Missed, okay. Oh yes! I got a I got a claw. That's actually what I wanted. So here's the thing. The other dragon parts are still there. They're just sitting on the ground. And we can keep camping here till morning over and over and over again. As many times as we want. And we got a horn right there. That's what you want to aim for. You want to get the horn, not the scales.
All you have to do is wait until the scale or whatever or or whatever is off the whatever you hit, it has to be off the body. When it's falling down like that, it'll fall to one of three locations around him, and you can just keep doing this. Just keep camping just like this. And you'll see, like, the other pieces are still over there. Like, the other pieces are still over there. So, I'll go ahead and collect in just a minute. But you see how this works out, right? We can just keep farming like this, and we'll have tons and tons of dragon parts. They sell for a lot of money. Ah, I keep getting scales, though, and not horns like I want. So I'm going to try and actually line myself up differently. Ah, no. It missed again? What? Mm. I'll take another claw, though. Why not? Okay, since the weather's good, you can see they land in one of one of three locations. All the different pieces. So whenever you're done farming, your Wi-Fi cable went out. Now I have an ad? Oh no. I'm sorry. But you just go out to all three of the locations and collect your dragon parts. So the scales are worth 150 rupees, the horns are worth 300, uh, claws and other parts are worth like 250, I think. So like, this is a great way to farm money. Also, these, you if used as ingredients for cooking, these will grant you huge 30-minute bonuses on, like, attack-ups or speed-ups or pretty much whatever you use them for. There's a ton of stuff. There's a ton of good stuff that you get from dragon parts. And you can get them over and over and over again very quickly just by using this method. That's what makes it so good. Just go back up here. Looks like I'll have to remake my campfire. But it should just work. It should just work again. Or at least it would if those enemies weren't nearby. There. Still not lined up just right. There's a way to be lined up so you always get a horn. Kind of have to work with it a bit though. I'm gonna try and get a horn every time. Like, I have to do a specific lineup of the bow. Oh, of course he moves and changes orientation on me. Whoa, okay, that arrow went right through him. There we go. All right, but you get the idea, though. This is how it's done. So, I'm going to do a bunch of this off, off, um, 
off screen off screen off stream Sh still not sure what i should call it uh i'm gonna do a bunch of this i'm gonna call it off stream i'm gonna do a bunch of this off stream and that way i'll have a bunch saved up and you won't have to sit here for 10 or 20 minutes while i do this But anyway, that's going to do it for the stream tonight. Thank you, uh, Time Tree, uh, Avalon, and uh, Bradenator. Thank you so much for coming. Y'all have a nice night, and I hope to see you on Friday. Have a good night, all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you. 